Welcome back to Sunrise Meditations on the beautiful and serene Enders Island. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, Doctor of the Church. And I'm your host, Deacon Francis Valier. Our Alexio Divina, our divine reading, is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14, verses 21 through 26. Let us begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And now let us listen and attend to our scripture passage. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Well, of Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Through the words of the Gospel, may our sins be wiped away. In today's Gospel reading, according to St. John, Jesus continues his farewell message to his disciples at the Last Supper. Those who really love him are those who carry out the teachings he has given them. Words alone will not be enough. You know, memorizing and parroting back chapter and verse of the scriptures is not enough. Where there is real love from the disciple, Jesus will return that love and reveal himself to his disciple. He will do this by coming with his Father to dwell in that person. All of our actions, our behaviors, everything we think, say, and do become part of the will of our Heavenly Father. Now it is Jude's turn to ask a question. Yes, it's not Judas Iscariot, it's Jude Thaddeus. He wants to know why Jesus only reveals himself to his disciples and not to the world. Jesus is rather elliptical in his reply, but basically he is saying that anyone who responds to Jesus with love will certainly experience the love of Jesus, which is always there. The world, in John's gospel, consists of those who turn their back on Jesus, his message and his love. And It's recorded that way. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. That's what Jesus said. Again, Jesus reminds his disciples that everything he passes on to them comes ultimately from God the Father and not from him alone. He is the mediator. He is the way. He is the truth, the life. He is the word of God. And later, after he has gone, 
this role will be taken over by the Holy Spirit, we call the paraclete. Holy Spirit's role is to help the disciples keep in mind all that Jesus has told them. He is the inner voice of God who will lead those who listen to the fullness of truth, something which no one possesses at any given time. The Holy Spirit will help them to understand the full meaning of Christ for them and for the world. The Holy Spirit will show them that Christ is the fulfillment of the scriptures. The Holy Spirit will help them understand ever more deeply the meaning of Jesus' life, his actions, and his signs. Words alone will not be enough. All this the disciples barely understand at this stage, and it is the process that continues into our own day, and that's something to ponder. As usual, after our closing prayer, we read this scripture passage again. Contemplate its message and concentrate on a thought that the Holy Spirit places in your heart. This can be either through a verse or even just a small word from this scripture passage. Then ask the Holy Spirit to show you how it pertains to you, and more importantly, how you may spiritually grow in imitation of Jesus, fulfilling the will of our Heavenly Father. Let us complete a divine reading with a closing prayer, and let us pray. Governed by your Holy Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those who contemplate and embrace your divine word, that in professing you, not just in words, but also in works and in spirit and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be upon you always and in always. And may his generous blessings fill your day with joy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, if you enjoy listening to these daily meditations, please click on that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And click on that notification button, the bell icon, so that you don't miss the new meditations that come to you each and every day. And please help support our channel by sharing these links with others. Pass them along to your friends and relatives as well. God bless you all. Have a great day. And join us again tomorrow for another Lexio Divina, a divine reading of God's sacred word. Pax et bonum omnibus. Peace and blessings to all. Shalom, shalom.